Today we're back in Shawnee, Oklahoma. We're gonna be installing two new speakers in a church auditorium. We're gonna seat about 175 people when everything's said and done. Right now the church is renovating the auditorium and we have the fun job today of hanging the speakers. I enjoy hanging speakers, the drop tile ceiling, because it makes it a challenge. You can't use the ceiling grid as a hanging point when you get much above 20 pounds on your speakers. So today I have to go up to the structural points of the roof, which is gonna be the Z purlins. Z purlins are like a truss, and we will rig from that Z purlin to hang uh, speakers. Speakers I'm using today are the On Point Audio OPA 12s. I love these things. Rotatable horn. The horn is a 60 by 40 horn. I've rotated it 90 degrees because I'm going to lay the speaker on its side. It'll do a nice job covering this room. Let's get started. Let's get started. Roll it and action. I've prepped all of the rigging materials that I'll need to hang the uh, OPA 12 speaker. Let me walk through it with you. This is a 14 gauge unistrut, strong enough to span the purlins. So this will get bolted to the uh, purlins. I have a plumb bomb laser that I'll uh, be able to shoot my hanging points off of the bracket, which will be sitting on top of the grid. Drill with uh, two drill bits to drill the holes through the purlin. There is our uh, 3 8 inch and a half bolts, grade eight. Here's our spring nuts, strut nuts. So this will go through the purlin and attach to the strut nut and I'll pinch that unistrut up on top. And then this little bad boy right here, this is a right angle adapter that's impact rated. There's a 9 16th socket on it. Now I'll reach above the purlin and I'll be able to tighten down that bolt into the spring nut. Right there. And then the all thread that's already been pre-cut with jam nuts, those will come through the holes and drop down. And then also I have the safety cable prepped. There's the swedge clamp uh, already on there. And then this will go through the per or this will go around the purlin and then this will run through all the unistrut, the speaker bracket, and then the speaker. That way if anything fails um, because of a structure, because of uh, deficiency on my part, seismic, uh, this will hold everything. So this is a last, last resort. And attached to this mounting bracket, I'll have two pieces of all thread here, two pieces of all thread there. The all thread gets jam nuts on either end and we'll treat them with washers and then the bracket or the unistrut and then another washer and then a, uh, a uh, lock nut. Lock nuts have nylon in the middle of them so no need for a uh, lock washer. This is grade eight as well. Very strong, very hard. I have a 9 16 uh, open end wrench and then a ratcheting wrench. I'll have a channel or a vice grips up there with me. I'll be able to pinch as I turn the wrench. Good deal. Now we'll choke the unistrut and prepare to lift up the speaker. Thank you. 
we'll do a test pick and see how that holds the weight. Should be pretty good once I get up there. Six pounds just went up and it only felt like about 17 pounds to me. <clears throat> the beauty of the block and tackle. Four part line. This eye bolt goes in the back, and this is what this aircraft cable will tie to. This right here is going to be a hole, which will hole through, and then I'm going to run a wood screw in, and that will help lock that speaker in place from rotating. Number six screw. Hold it in place from shifting around. <laughs> 